Welcome to a virtual tour of the science lab at the Delphian School in Sheridan, Oregon. This is where students learn by doing. One of the best things about the school is that students learn at their own pace. I've spoken to science teachers in other schools who tell me they teach to a third of the class because a third of the class knows it already and they're bored and a third of the class didn't understand what the teacher said last week and they're lost. That's not helping two-thirds of your students. And it's not the teacher's fault, it's the educational system they're in. They have to start the curriculum here on the first day and end here on the second day and they've got to keep moving. But that assumes that all students learn all subjects at the same rate. And clearly that's not the way students are. They're better in some subjects, need more help in others. The Delphian School has the type of educational system that is conducive to all students learning. If students are good in a subject, they can go through it quickly. They don't have to wait for anyone. If it's not their best subject, they take a little extra time, they get extra one-on-one -on -one help until they understand it. There was a girl who wasn't a science person. She told me she never liked science, she never did well in it, and she took some, si some chemistry courses here at Delphi. And I saw her at lunch a couple of weeks ago, and she said, you know, Marty, I'm not taking a chemistry course, and I miss it. Because here, we can make things understandable. We can help students understand. If you don't do well on chemistry one, you're not going to do well on chemistry two. We make sure students have a firm understanding so they can build on it. And this is where the lab is where they do things. So if you're on an electricity course and you're learning about Ohm's law, you can see the difference in the brightness of one bulb or two. It's not memorizing something, <clears throat> it's seeing it, it's doing it. Then it's part of your subjective reality instead of just memorizing. The more senses you could get a student to use, the better they'll retain the data. Or if students are learning about levers, they can see how one weight can balance out three and learn about mechanical advantage. Or we have a wonderful reading program here at Delphi and students read hundreds of books and develop a love of reading. And so I made this fabric book. So if you're reading Little House on the, on the Prairie, I have gingham here because there's a, an episode where a gingham apron is made or another episode where Laura makes a calico dress. So if you don't know what calico is, you can see it has a regular repeating pattern. And so this is where students can come not only for uh, science, but for hands-on for just about any subject, whether it's solid geometry or chemistry or physics or genetics or electricity or microscopes. This is where they get the hands-on and learn by doing. So I hope you can come and visit with us. And until then, have a great day.